So sometimes what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to prove that uh, a certain uh, function is not in fact O of something, right? And this is basically just kind of give you a sense of like, why is it that we can't ha just say that a function is O of anything, okay? Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a quick sketch, a quick proof in which what we'll do is we'll show that this function, x to the fourth over 2, is not O of x squared. Okay? And we're going to do it by contradiction. So suppose that, right, x to the fourth over 2 is O of x squared. Right? So we'll start out with that statement that it, in fact, is exactly what we think it is. Then... There exists a k and a c constants, right? Very important that they are, in fact, constants, such that when x is greater than k, f of x, right, or in this case, x to the fourth over 2, is less than or equal to cx squared. So let's assume that that's true. So now we'll let x be greater than k. Okay, then we get x to the fourth, right, over 2 is less than or equal to cx squared. We're going to actually assume that that's true. And that it then implies that x to the fourth is less than or equal to 2cx squared, which then implies that x squared is less than or equal to um, 2c, which then implies that x is less than or equal to the square root of 2c. Well, that's a problem, okay? That's the contradiction. That can't happen. x can't be both bigger than k all the time and then less than a particular constant value, okay? Right? If x is in fact greater than the square root of 2c, then we have a contradiction. Which is in fact true, because x is greater than k. So our statement is true for all x greater than k. So there it is. I mean, basically what we've ended up having is we ended up getting the statement that x was less than or equal to some constant. But if we actually said x less than or equal to some kind of constant, all I've got to do is get at k big enough. Like I've just got to make that value big enough to where it's now bigger than the square root of 2c. And then what I have done is I've induced a contradiction. Okay. So x to the fourth over 2 is not O of x squared. Okay. Basically, and this is just going to hold true, anytime we have the power on the left-hand side is greater than the power on the right-hand side, right? Because then you'll just divide through by the power, and you've got a value of x over here and some constant over on this side. And that's a problem, right? Because x just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and at some point it overwhelms the constant value, okay? And so that's basically the sketch of this proof, right? It basically says, hey, look, I'm going to assume that, in fact, it's true, and then I'm going to do a little bit of algebra to show that it's not. All right? So this concludes the lesson.